What's up, y'all? See y'all here again today with another video. Y'all, today I wanted to talk to you all about something that's been on my mind. Let's talk about killing. Yup. I said it. Yeah, let's talk about killing. Killing family members. Your next generation. Killing them all off. The Democrats ain't gonna have nothing on this conversation right here. And I know y'all probably saying, why you want to talk about killing, Sion? Why you want to do that? Yeah, I ain't want to talk about, I'm not talking about killing with a gun or a knife or none of that, pills, none. The killing I'm talking about is generational homicide. And I want to go into it. And this is how I want to get it started. One of the things I've noticed as I get older, because I was a victim of this, I used to do the same thing. I see young kids riding around, brand new Mustangs, Mercedes Benz, big rims on the cars, $1,000 pair of shoes, fancy clothes, $1,000 phones, high dollar iPhones and all that. But now you gotta ask yourself, how much is this gonna cost me? And how it's gonna benefit the people after me? I know it look good right now, but is this gonna help me in the future? Ask yourself that. I see it all the time, it never fails. Never ever fails, I see it all the time. Young kids wanna outdo other kids. People wanna outdo people. I want the biggest house on the block. I want the baddest car. Think about it. Oh yeah, you gonna look good doing it, don't get me wrong. Flex on it. yeah, flex, do it, yeah. But here's the thing though, think about all the people you gonna kill. Yeah, I said it, to be graphic. Think of all the people you killing off. Think of all the lives that's gonna come after you that ain't gonna have a chance because you done wasted the money. That's what's gonna get me into this discussion today, y'all. When I speak of generational homicide, I'm not talking about hurting other people in the physical form. I'm talking about all that money you wasted and trying to look good for people who don't even care, don't even matter. And that money gone, and then the generation after you, they got to suffer. See, I'm, I'm being real. I'm telling you what I know. I know plenty of generations that's been, been here before me. The generation that was before them left them nothing. Some people got sick, but see, here's the thing. Those people who got sick, those would be the same people that everybody be like, man, they, they always had money. You think about it, what, who you think sacrificed it? Somebody somewhere sacrificed it. Somebody said, you know what? I'm gonna put off today so my people can have tomorrow. But this is my thing, y'all. Check this. What if you took all that money that you then made doing whatever you do? Put it up, did something great with that money. Cause think about it, my man, I know you out there, you probably still doing your thing, still hustling. Yeah, you hear me within the sound of my voice. I know you hear me. Yeah, you done bought all that nice stuff, huh? You done did all this big stuff that made it rain at the club, huh? You ain't put no money up? So now your family ain't got no money? You done made all this money and nobody in your family ain't benefiting? Ain't that kind of strange, huh? I'm just putting this out, this on some real. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. got to be mindful of what you're doing with this money. They people out there getting real money. This ain't even got nothing to do with me. But they some people out there making some real money. And guess what? You spending all of it trying to impress people right now. Forget people now. Make that money. Make some good plans to change your future so the next generation can have a shot. I done seen it before. Like I said, instant gratification going to be the death of our generation. I already seen it. But y'all, I ain't telling you something I don't know. I done lived it. I done been there. I done know how much money you, you, I know how much money you were spending that stuff and how much it come up to and all that money I done wasted in the years. But see, I'm a young cat. But what about you older cats? Yeah, I'm coming for y'all too. The, the older cats who done made all this money and blew all this money, next generation coming. For some of you, the next generation already here. What you gonna do for them? I'm just being real. Instant gratification gonna be the death of our next generation. They ain't gonna stand a chance. 
But this is how you beat it. This is how you ain't got to commit generational homicide. Number one, forget instant gratification. Yo, you got to learn how to love yourself. All, in, all instant gratification is, is people, you want people to like you for the stuff that you have. You good enough. You are good enough. You got to be mindful. There's a time to grind. There's a time to shine. But think about it like this. All that money, I done heard it plenty of times from a lot of old players. All that money they had, they said, man, I could have done so much with that money, but now I ain't got it no more. I ain't talking about if you're selling dope, you do whatever you do. But I done heard it so many times from even people that's don't work jobs. They done made so much money and lost it all because they, did, they failed to plan out or plan for that next generation so they can have some of that money. But, yeah, you got to flee instant gratification. That's going to be the death of a lot of people. Wanting to show off, wanting to be the baller. But here's the thing. They somebody out there right now sacrificing. They might not even be the beneficiary of all the money. They ain't going to get to see what their money did or what their money going to do. They just know if I put, if I do right by this money while I got it, my kids will be straight. My grandkids will be straight. My family straight. But yeah, instant gratification. That's just pretty much getting things that you feel that are good and that make you feeling good at the moment. Ain't doing nothing but making you feel good. Trying to fill a void. Better heal yourself. Take a look in the mirror. All that stuff is stuff. But they gonna be people who come after you and you can change their life by what you do with your money now. Another one. Wasting a lot of time. I know a lot of people waste a whole lot of time. And hey, they traps out there for all of that. Got clubbing on the weekends, drinking, doing whatever, smoking, getting high, wasting time. That's going to kill your next generation. If you want to make sure they don't have nothing, kill you a whole lot of time. They ain't going to stand a chance. You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about them getting killed in the streets. Because by the time they get here, there'll be nothing for them. It'll do it itself. That's why everybody mad at the system. Because the system doing what it's supposed to do. Destroy it. You want to beat the system? Put your family ahead. Take your bread and do wise things with it. That's how you beat the system. You ain't got to worry about kids getting murdered and, and, and things of that nature. Put the money up and then do wise things with that money. Invest that money. Get you some properties. Get you some stocks. Put, put that money up and invest in yourself, in an education, whatever you're going to do. You got to be real smart with your money. You can do it. I know y'all can do it. Come for me. I ain't going to sit here like I'm on a high horse. Now, nah, I ain't got it all figured out, but one of the things I want to let y'all know is you got to be mindful because here's my thing. This is just a wake-up call. Because what if you don't know? Because you don't know what you don't know. So if me telling you this right now, saying what? So that old school car I got, it ain't going to be worth nothing in a few years? Or them big rims I got ain't going to be worth nothing in a few years? Nah, I'm just telling you right now. Be mindful with your money. Because one thing about it is, like I said, you ain't got to kill the next generation. Yeah, you ain't even got to worry about Somebody else killing the next generation, you gon' gonna already dead them. But yeah, y'all, hey, I ain't gonna go too much into detail about it. I just wanna let y'all know that. If you really wanna kill some people, and you really wanna let the next generation down, all that money you got, I done heard people say, man, I done had millions of dollars, I done had hundreds of thousands of dollars, and ain't got nothing now? Guess what? That generation, hey, it don't matter. It's not about what you had, it's about what you did. And if you ain't do nothing with what you had, then it don't even matter. That next generation ain't even gonna stand a chance. But y'all, I, I just really want to put this message out though. You gotta be mindful with your money. Like, I don't care what you do with it that can benefit you, but just stop wasting it. You gotta be mindful on where your money going. Practice basic financial literacy. And like I said, y'all, this is all learnable. But hey, if you don't know you doing wrong, or if you don't know what you doing can hurt you, Hey, I'm that wake-up call, because I just told you. You want to kill that next generation? You, th you, think these, you think these guys in the streets is something to worry about? Oh, no, that's the last thing you got to worry about. The, the thing you can worry about is what you're doing now, because all that can be prevented. You can prevent all of that by taking that money that you got, doing something positive with it, investing it, investing it in yourself, and you can make a change where that next generation ain't even got to grow up in all that. Failure to plan.
That's going to be the killer right there. Fail you to plan. Only thing you do, put your plan in motion. Put your plan in motion. And work the plan. And like I said, y'all, not to be graphic, because I ain't talking about nobody pulling the, the heat out on anybody, laying somebody down, none of that. I ain't, I ain't talking about none of that. I'm just telling you the truth on if you really want to kill some people, fail to, fail to set them up properly, even though you got the money now, and you just choose not to. Because like I said, instant gratification going to be the death of my generation. I see it, but it, it ain't nothing new to me. And I know some of y'all might say, well, see on. How am I supposed to learn all this stuff? I don't want to go back to school. Y'all, you can learn all of this. This is learnable. This is learnable stuff. You can read books. You can take online courses. You can go to YouTube. Y'all, that's where I get all my information from. I listen to people like Dr. Boyce Watkins on YouTube. He talks about the game. He talks about how to do right by your money. The only thing you got to do is care. Start there. If you can't do anything else, just start with, okay, Make it up in your mind that you want to create, the ch that you want to be the change that you know you can be. You just start there and the rest works itself out. I promise you. You just got to take action first. You got to take that first step. That's going to be by educating yourself. So whenever you hear me say educating yourself, it don't even necessarily mean college. I'm just saying you just want to get the information. The way to win the game of life it's already been written. There's people that's read plenty of books about it. Plenty of people talk about it. People are there. There's people where you want to be. There's people with the money you want. All you got to do is follow what they're doing, read what they read, watch what they watch, and listen to what they listen to to get to where they are. That's all you got to do. So it's all going to start with just caring. And anybody can do it. I'm a firm. I think anybody can do it with the right attitude. So you just start, then just stay the course. That's my whole goal, y'all, I ain't got nothing. My whole goal is just to stay the course, to try to figure this thing out. Cause I didn't seen too many people make it. And I said, if they can make it, why can't I? And cause I ain't trying to blame nobody for my past. Everybody did what they were gonna do anyway. But now we in this age to where information is easily accessible. Take advantage. Take advantage of the information, and a lot of it's free information. Spend money on books if you got to. Spend money on courses if you got to. But see, that's the thing about it. You take that money, investing it into yourself. Even if you ain't ready for the big stuff, you ain't got to be ready for the big stuff like getting into stocks and real estate. But you got to start. You got to start with this. You got to change that mind. Because if you don't change that mind and have that mind working in the way you want it to, none of this will work. So you got to work on that mind. You got to get that mind right so you can think those thoughts that can get you to that next level. So that And that's a process within itself. So before you even think about doing the big stuff, start with the things that you can control. And one is this. You got full control over that. You make the change. That's all you got to do. You be the change that you know you can be. And like I said, you might not even live to get to see what it all does, but the people after you, They'll be thankful for it. At least hopefully they'll be thankful for it. But because that's the thing about it. Somebody cared enough to leave something. But y'all, I did want to just relay this message to you. If you want to figure out different ways you can do with your money, holler at me. I put out different videos. I'm just trying to wake the people up and let them know, hey, look, you won't change. You already got it. If you working, you making money, you already got it. Take your money, save your money, and invest your money. Save your money so your money can save you. Save your money so your money can save your family. Because the last thing you got to worry about is somebody in the streets killing your youngin' or your grandkids or your grandkids' grandkids. It's so the last thing you got to worry about. The change starts with you. All right, y'all. Like and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you. Talk to you later. Peace.